shit y'all are gonna make the Olympics doing this. I'm providing all the emotional support that I possibly could. Why didn't we do that long ago? <laughs> <laughs> My brain just started working. A little bit of shenanigans going on, guys. So I'm down here at Barnyard Garage. Well, that's behind me with uh, Brock and Dan. And they ran into a little bit of a mishap trying to load this truck. So the winch burnt out on the trailer here and they can't get it up. As you can see, it's kind of getting high centered on the, on the trailer there. But they're finagling it pretty good. Just kind of a mess, but we're gonna get it done. So now they're gonna try using uh, some big ass ratchet strap to pull that thing up on there. Oh, and it's moving. It's moving. A little bit past the cutoff, maybe. A little dangle off the side of the truck there. Not doing so hot. Exhaust is catching a little bit, but not bad. You guys eat your Wheaties? It's like a rowing machine. Y'all are gonna make the Olympics doing this. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing over here. Uh, you're off the trailer now. Just by cunt hair. What happened to this thing anyways? I bought it wrecked. Oh, okay. Yeah, shit, you built some awesome stuff. Dan Deets, uh, what was that? An Escalade? Yeah. yeah. I'll try to find some pictures and throw them in the video here. Good fabricator right here, guy. This guy right here. Dan's famous. <laughs> He's probably a bit more internet famous than I am, honestly. <laughs> been all over the damn country. I'm a noob in this when game. When I showed up at the house last night, I was like, so are you like taking it to Texas in the morning? Or are you just taking it home? <laughs> well, just taking it home. I don't know why I'm using my left arm for this and right arm. Just sit over it so when it snaps, <laughs> yeah. it hits you right in the well, sack. I don't want to be there because when it slides off this side of the trailer, it doesn't pinch me between the tires. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, you ready? Yep. It's not too bad. Yeah, I think you're hitting. Yeah, we're you're sitting on the muffler now. How much does this thing weigh? A lot. <laughs> like enough to bend the thing that they were trying to use to flat tow it back. Oh shit. In the first place. It bent the forks on your dad's thing. They had the tires off the front? Yeah. And it bent down and they drug it all the way through Copart parking lot. <laughs> shit. It probably was like 16 to 17,000 pounds. 16 to 17K. gonna attempt to push it on now with this one. Beautiful? What's that? It sounds amazing. I wasn't doing that earlier when we started. <laughs> Smokes. You're breaking everything. Smokes, let's go. You asked if I had a tire. Quite possibly, I mean I wonder. Must select the perfect one. Oh, my precious. You've got one. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying a little bit of a different shenanigans today. If you just pop the hood up, but I mean, 
might hit the radiator. We'll give You'll it a probably just, Let's try I mean, the grill is going to be done at that point. This could all be averted if we just started the truck. Put the fans pushed into the radiator. That's an expensive fan. Please just drive it up. Oof. It's moving. Yeah, it moved up quite a bit. Approved PPE. We're taking every uh, <laughs> safety measure. It's kind of uh, off the muffler now. I'm happy this doesn't have a trans temp gauge. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're <laughs> it smells, that thing. It smells so bad. This I was wide open throttle there at the end. It wasn't spinning the tire. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's going to get a little crispy. I mean, it's moved quite a bit. Say goodbye to the bumper on the Dodge. And Give it a shove. I don't know. They should probably still put the tire in there. Oh my god! And it went in the bumper. <laughs> His hitch just poked a hole in you. It's moving. There you go. Out. Just a little bit of carnage. Safety first, right? Pinch so oh, that's uh, sick. Regulated pinch point, isn't that? Okay, right there. Let's give it a little throttle. Yeah, that's not doing too hot. I don't think that's very accurate. Does this actually have a key, or have you stolen this vehicle, sir? This one has a key. The Grand Prix uh, over there he has a screwdriver. Ask him where he got this. Where'd you get this? From him. <laughs> Guess how that got here? Towed on behind this. this. You with towed a, that man, thing? With a strat towed that here with this from Copart. Both of them came from Copart. I'd say you're probably exceeding the weight limits. Wow! That's good. Oh, yeah, copyright. 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 This is a solid piece of American machinery. Not me. I'm looking at the cap thinking that's nice. If it's a little taller than mine, let's see if it's unlocked here. Oh. Hey, look. Oh, maybe it's because it's broken. It's not. Get out of here. It's our workspace. I'd sleep in there. It's a little rapey. Like this. Well, I, I wouldn't mind need, a taller one. You need how tall this is. Exactly. After I purchased mine, I realized I should have done that. And then having the two windows, it's just a little bit of extra touch of class right there. Looks good. I 
don't think this thing is four wheel drive. But if it was four wheel drive, pull that crane off, slide a truck camper in there, you'd be golden. Oh, it is four wheel drive. Pull the dualies off, go with super singles front and rear, slide in camper in the back. Got a rear porch. We're gonna start strapping it because Dan's worried it's gonna take off and run him over if he's between there and I'm pushing it. It's definitely possible. It's two inches. Oh, I didn't even notice that one over there. Where did that winch come from? Three winches. <laughs> Three goons, and we still haven't completed the project. Uh, I've been smelling ether for the last week out here. I, s I smell it. I don't know where it's coming from. It's probably some it all the, the time. Kid running around. <laughs> yeah, with like some starting fluid. Perfect. Somebody living in your bathroom huffing. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> Way to call me out <laughs> on national television. <laughs> Could be a byproduct from the co-op, something something coming out of there it's fermenting maybe I've never smelled that no before. yeah there is a slight chemical smell in the air yeah it, i've been smelling it the last few days has this thing been here for a few days <laughs> <laughs> it's this <laughs> i i thought about like asking on the ashland greenwood page but then i figured people would probably freak out and say it's because of all of my shitty vehicles so <laughs> I just, uh, oh i swore sorry <laughs> <laughs> He's got a few hot rods. Do you still have that van here with the wing on the back of it? That's at the other shop. Oh. No, I took the wing off. It fell off going down the highway. Oh. <laughs> you had like, what was it? A Chevy, what was it? A full-size Duramax van. Duramax van. And he helped me build it. With half the back of the cab cut off. 23 hours. Yeah, start to finish. Yeah. Like some roadkill shit. <laughs> and the frame was exposed in the back <laughs> with a giant, like, net, like what, was the, what was the wing off of? Did you make I it? I built it. Yeah, with sheet metal, 316 steel. <laughs> a giant wing on it. It'll be back. We'll be back someday. So we're going to pull the strap off and run it through these tow hooks and back over. And hopefully, like, if you're winching with a, a snatch block or something that cuts your weight in half, maybe that'll help a bit. Uh, but we'll see. This? Yeah, and then anywhere you could hook it back up up there. I mean, that's gonna kind of pinch in there, but it might effectively pull that pulling force down a bit. Does it feel any easier? I don't think we've hit the weight of it yet. Are you off of that one? Yeah. Oh, wow. Not yeah. too bad. Huh, science. <laughs> That's a lot of science. <laughs> yeah, you're about to break over. You're like right, you're over. Science, boys! I contributed. Okay, quick question. Why didn't we do that long ago? <laughs> yeah. My ah. brain just started working. Cool. I had to look Who at it. Who are you to tell us? <laughs> <laughs> the last bump. So can I have a job then? Because I don't make any money doing this guy. <laughs> well, with a little bit of science. Uh, doubling our doubling the straps over. Reducing the effort to pull in half. It popped up on there pretty easily. I'd say it's probably because I've met Bill Nye the science guy and so I knew what I was doing. But. So Dan comes up. He's like, you gonna use those? And I'm like, what? He's like, you gonna use those? And he points. So I pick this up because it's laying like this. And I don't see all the cigarettes in it. Just dump them everywhere. Oh, dirty old butts. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. They're like dirty I know old you love smokers' trucks. Truck. There's been a lot of dirty old butts in this truck. <laughs> I wonder if those are stains. That might just be a. <laughs> There's been victims in here. Probably not up front. <laughs> Sounds horrible. <laughs> Do burnout. Is that the brakes? I think so.
Ooh, that smells good. Sprinkling something fierce. Hope you guys are enjoying the slightly different content. As you can see, the weather's not great. Still, we have no ice. It rained all night and it's been misting all morning. So any of the ice we have, I haven't gone to check the lake. So I was gonna do it this afternoon after editing. But Brock called me up. He's like, uh, there's a bit of shenanigans going on. You should come down and check it out. So I ran down here. Oh, he's back with the other truck again. What is he doing? Uh, so I came down to check it out. They've managed to get it on there. They got to get it strapped down. It is still a bit sketchy. I mean, one whole tire's hanging off this side, but it should be able to make the trip. I know he's going too terribly far. Man, you're getting wet again. But we'll go in and check out the shop before we leave. See if he's working on anything fun today. Just a few trucks in the shop here. But he's got a pretty rad one back over here in the corner I'll show you guys. He's built some pretty cool stuff. He did a Monte Carlo with the turbo and everything sticking out the hood and everything was going over the roof. This beast. Look at that thing. It's got a 5.3 in it. Anything done to it? Cam. Cam? Like a BTR stage three or four truck cam, I think. Mm. You look at that one? I love the stock wheels. Uh, as you guys can tell, I still have the factory wheels on my truck, and it's not because, like, I just, there's no aftermarket wheels that I've really found that I think are really neat, honestly. They all just have, seem to have way too much offset. This looks good. This looks awesome. I wonder what size these are. 35s probably, I don't know. 315.75 R16, I don't know what that measures out to. Does it say on here? Probably somewhere. It's beautiful. And I don't hate the color either. Mint. Pulled the trailer around to the front. He's got pretty, he's getting it strapped down. Gotta check the air in the Tyler tires. This is not uh, doing too hot here. You can't get the ramps up, so it's strapped down. Oh, we've got some more cool stuff outside here. That makes my inner mullet tingle. The red truck over there is lowered. I'm sure it's got some motor work done to it. I thought, uh, I think prior, I'd seen this thing sitting here and there's an intercooler up front. Oh yeah, just slightly. Try not to show you his license plate. There's probably a slight bit of power hiding behind the grill there. It's a little loud. I like this truck so much. It's got a, it's got a rebuilt 480 in it with like Alice and clutches in it and long tube header, 60. It's got like 300,000 miles on it. It, oh, runs, it runs like new. The thing's a beast. I definitely need some uh, some long tubes for mine. Yes. But long tubes, gears, stall, turbo kit. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. just a few small things. <laughs> yeah. Small I've actually been saving these. Um, the next road trip I make to the ocean, I'm gonna throw those bad boys in. <laughs> we recycle the positive way around here. Yeah. No pollution on land is the way we go. Yep. It uh, it recharges the eels. Still raining. He's got it all strapped down pretty good. Tires are only slightly sketchy on here. couple straps back there got some straps holding the ramps up and uh, the best part is we covered up the DOT number with some painters tape just so that he doesn't get pulled over right <laughs> I'm sure that's gonna help
Backroom casting couch. Classy. Let's try and see if I can find the uh, magazine that his car is in. I doubt it's going to be in here. There's old Dan Dietz's Escalade. So that's uh, that's old boy that was in the garage whose truck and trailer that is out there. He built that. Solid axle swap. That's sweet, huh? I found it. So we're looking at Roadkill Magazine. Winter 2017. There we go. King of the crap can. It's awesome. Daily driven 11 second, $1,100, 86 money. I think you guys could probably find some stuff online about this if you want to take a look at it. Take a look at it. I can find the link to this article. I'll link it down in the comment section or I'll link it down in the video description. I'd like to know if it says power numbers on here, but I don't know if it's going to. I imagine he just tuned it. If I could own an exotic car, I'd probably just sell it and buy like 300 crappy ones. That's the way to do it in my opinion. If you guys are ever in the area here, we're in Greenwood, Nebraska. If you're ever around here and you need some work done, these guys do know what they're doing. I'm gonna go back out to the shop here and probably take off. I didn't get any editing today, done today that I wanted to do, but I'm gonna give you a little outro with these guys. All right, guys, well, I gotta get taken off out of here. It was awesome, I'm glad Brock called me and told me to come down here and film the shenanigans and it was nice to meet <laughs> Mr. Dietz. He's got some awesome builds and like I said, I'll link them down below uh, and link some social media for these guys so you guys can check them out. So if you're ever in Greenwood, stop on by Barnyard Garage and get your stuff built because he does know what he's doing. Or if you're in uh, Denver or Orleans. <laughs> or, or Orleans. <laughs> yeah, what is it in Denver do you do? I work at a fab shop. Fab, fab shop. shop? Okay. Yep. All right. Well, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. I upload every three days, fishing, camping, outdoor stuff, and I guess now. Trailer loading. <laughs> Trailer loading and chop shenanigans. <laughs> so let me know if you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll definitely keep it up. So stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.